Now let's go to the admin web to make some settings for JPRS. This is the home page. In the home page you can view the user status statistics in chart. Click the chart for the detailed report. And then the audit shown here can be used to track every action made by JPRS users. Next is the admin tab. The first feature is enable disable feature. Here the admin can restrict users from accessing certain features. Here I am going to uncheck the option unlock account. Now in the end users page, the option unlock account is not available. Next is language settings. Here the admin can give language options for users with the languages listed here. Next setting is notification settings. With this setting, admin can enable mail notifications in case of password reset, change of password, enrollment and password expiration alert to users and their managers. Now I am going to enable the notification mail during password reset setting. Here in configuration of mail you can select the language, subject and mail text. Here in mail text, I am using SAM account name attribute to display the user's name and also we provide some custom formats that you can use in the mail text. Here I am using custom format new password to display the user's new password which is reset. Next feature is invite users to enroll. Select the policy. Here in text field enter your newly hosted web client users page URL and then save the changes. Now I am going to invite all the users. Here a mail delivery status report appears as an acknowledgement. Next feature is agent installation in which you can install the client setup in computers that are present in your domain. Here I am going to install the client setup for XP machine, select XP client and then click install. Now select XP computer in which you want to install the client and then give your username and password and proceed. To get the status of installation, just click update status and give the username and password again and proceed. Now the client installation for XP machine is installed successfully. Next feature is enroll and unenroll the users. Here you can enroll or unenroll the users. To enroll select policy and then select enroll. Select any question and answer it from the user's active directory attribute. Here I have selected two questions because the number of question for this policy is two. Enter the answer I am selecting two AD attributes. Then enroll it. Now an auto enroll confirmation pop up will appear, which will ask you to re enroll or skip for already enrolled users. Here I am selecting skip. Now auto enroll result pop up will appear with a list of successfully enrolled users and skipped users. Finally, we have a mail server settings which has been already configured in self service settings.